Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. What are we doing today? Today we're actually doing somewhat of a flip through <laughs> of my quick little doodles for April. It was only like four prompts I did. I am going to school. So I, I really couldn't do the full 30 days, but I did four prompts. And um, let me quit my intro and get into it. Okay, so for the month of April, um, I did it last year. Did I do it the year before? I know I definitely did it in 2023, but I'm not sure if I did it in 2022, where I did some quick little doodles for the month of April. Um, I selected a prompt, and um, I didn't remember how I got the quick little doodles prompts for April for last year. But this year, I just basically picked the prompts at random and so the road is so loud today and so um I wanted to do four little prompts and I like doing these little prompts because they really get they keep me drawing I like doing these little doodles because they literally keep me drawing it literally it literally keeps my skills up as a illustrator so it's just quick little doodles, nothing too major. And for this year, 2024, I wanted to focus on alcohol-based markers and colored pencils. Now keep in mind, most of the colored pencils I use were Crayola, but I kind of like that idea. And maybe, I don't know, maybe advance from there. So let me show you the first ones. Now, you wouldn't have seen this one here. Now, this is just for the prompt third turtle. And I don't know why I can't speak today. <laughs> it's for the prompt turtle. And um, I, just want, I just thought of a turtle carrying a little cupcake. I really appreciate this idea. Somehow, I think the legs for my turtle are a bit stiff. Um, I like them to have a little bit more movement in it. Maybe I might select this as a redraw, knowing that I have, you know, this critique about the legs here about the turtle. But all in all, it was something good for me to draw. It actually pulled me out of my comfort zone a bit because of the grassy, grassy area. And that's one of the things I'm struggling with, how to draw cartoon grass. I know it's kind of like cartoon grass is like the simplest thing to draw because it's, it's literally just jagged lines but I don't want it to be just jagged lines I want it I don't know I don't know what I want but yeah I'm struggling to draw that a bit this one you would have seen in a previous video and this is for the prompt drip and I draw I know I said popsicle and it is a popsicle but in our country the other word we call it is palatus and I named my pally sticks after it and I couldn't remember the word palatus but um this is how it came out. I added some white to it. And I really like how this came out. But you already see this, so let's not dwell on this one too much. This one here is Nest. And yeah, I saw this picture of some blue eggs. And I was like, oh, that is so gorgeous. But now looking at it, I think I should do a little bit more shading with the nest with the nest because I don't think I did enough not necessarily to go darker but to go more especially here in the middle and maybe some over here so maybe that's something I want to work on some more and the last one is I think this is drive and I saw this cute little picture of a bus driver and I thought that was so nice. And what I appreciate about this doodle here is that it here, I don't normally do these kind of things, like give you a retrospective of what is inside, you know, how to view it inside. I don't normally do these kind of things here. And that is something I could appreciate about this drawing here. And you can actually, imagine the bus driver driving driving and i like the fact how i did the shadows here with color pencils 
I actually did enjoy doing this, um, these doodles. I actually did enjoy doing it. I think I did one last one, but I don't think it was for April's quick little doodles. I, I'm thinking, yeah, by the time you guys get to see this, this is also alcohol and markers. I just wanted to kind of, you know, play around with it some more. But I think I appreciate it more when I have it at these levels. Um, what I was saying is that doing this allowed me to appreciate mixed media more. Because I don't do it that often. And I, when looking at this, I really appreciate the work I did on it how I was able to create shadows and this one here shadows and definition and just using the Crayola color pencils to do it was also something fun to do um, I can see where I make my mistakes but when I do art it's not necessarily about making mistakes it's about improving it's about bringing my concept envisioning what I am envisioning, envisioning the concept that I am envisioning to bring that on paper, to bring that across. And I know, you know, like I said, I know there's going to be mistakes, but at the end of the day, I don't look at the mistakes like, okay, I made this huge mistake. I have to do, no, no, I look at a mistake as I need to improve it. When I do it better, I could do a redraw, but did I bring the concept I wanted across? Did I bring the vision I had in my head across and yes there's a lot of drawing mistakes but are those two two are those two things accomplished and it is and if those two things is a yes for me then my drawing sessions were successful even though there's a lot of drawing mistakes um, I knew this was gonna be a short one there's not a lot of things to really discuss it was only four quick little doodles um, let me know in the comments below guys what you think of my quick little doodles. Did you do any quick little doodles for April? Um, how do you do your mixed media pieces um, with markers and color pencils? What kind of markers you use? What kind of color pencils you use? Is there any suggestions you want to give me when it comes to using markers and color pencils together? Please put those in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.